Yo, welcome back to another Toltec Pickups video at Laverack Guitars on the Toltec Pickups channel where we overview and show repairs and tutorials on nice bits of wood such as this. Today we have a 2004 Gibson Les Paul Standard Limited Edition this particular one is a Pacific Reef Blue, I think the colour is, on this flame maple top, which is a thing of beauty. I do like the colour of this. It's got a nice blue and in the flame it sort of gets a nice green colour as well, which does change in the light depending on the angle the back and the neck are all in this kind of like a royal blue it may come across as a dark or a black on the video but it's a it's all blue it has this single white binding on the neck and around the headstock just a single band there there's no writing or logo on the truss rod cover. We have got these kind of uh, what you call butter bean style tuners with the uh, Gibson Deluxe stamped on the back. Pretty nice. I prefer these to the Cluson style with the plastic button ends in that crown shape quite a low profile on the tuners as well vintage style let's call them we've got white almost arctic white pickup surrounds the white toggle switch selecting indicator let's say this little washer here is white and the writing is in a nice blue as well so that's a nice little quirk to it it has no scratch plate or pick guard what you would usually find on the les paul here and this is how they came there's no indications of one being removed because there's no holes drilled for any screws that's how it is and the uh, i guess we call the witch hat black with silver indentation for the volume and tones here nickel hardware shallow made in germany shallow nashville style bridge which is a slightly larger footprint here and a more sturdier construction than the avr tailpiece again nickel we have got a chrome what do we call that that's a jack socket good googly moogly a chrome jack socket plate my word uh, instead of the plastic and the black plastic back plate for the controls and the switch let's say i've taken a look inside the control cavity everything is nice and original in there and untouched it's very clean and tidy it is mounted to the grounding plate let's say that all the controls are mounted to rather than just straight in the wood with the the neutral point for the solder joint connections in the center of the plate where you would find the connections going to yada yada i think i'm going to say these are original as well they're like the dunlop style strap lock buttons on there really big oversized and when this came into us, it was in a bit of a state. It had been left in a less favorable, favorable environment. All the hardware was just tarnished and flaky. The strings were just pure rust. The frets were pure rust. Fretboard again. It, hasn't had a lot of signs of like abuse as in playing 
but just the condition to be left in. Moisture had got in there. Luckily, everything cleaned up on the pots okay. No crackles or anything there. We did have to really go and get all that tarnishing off the hardware. There's still tiny bits there of pitting, but we've got it the best we can for this model. The tuner buttons were just all gunked up. I could go on all day about what state it was in, but it was in the state. The kind of cool bonus for that is that the lack of checking really has been brought out by the moisture of the condition it's been left in. And you can see the sinking grain and the checking, let's say, of the lack of following the grain of the maple going this way not the flames so much out towards this direction but the waves of the maple grain there not so much here but round here it's really pronounced near the control knobs but what a nice looking bit of quirky gear i'm not sure the limited run on these, the numbers that were produced, I think there were a few different colours in this uh, limited edition, of course, but this is, from the information I've gathered, the Pacific Reef Blue. March 2004, from dating the stamp impressed in the wood on the back, made in USA, the stamp, everything is pretty much untouched. It came into us for the full works. We have done the clean up, stripped the bridge down, stripped everything down, fret level, recrown, polish of the board. There's a little bit of gappiness in this first inlay where there's been a bit of shrinkage, I would say. That's not from factory, that something is, well, again, the moisture has shrunk it there. But we're leaving that. It's sturdy. It's not coming out. Sometimes I've had to replace or refit inlays that have come loose due to shrinkage or lifting over time. Not the case with this particular one, but just a good old settle. But not one that I've come across before. In my shop since 2004 of course because that's when they were made in this color with the blue back and neck nice bit of gear for me we make our own tall tech pickup brand humbuckers single coils and the like and now this does have a it does have that Gibson charm to it the neck is quite woolly to be fair It's got its sound, but I don't know. It's no Toltec humbucker, I tell you that. It's just not as dynamic and responsive, not as much clarity there, even though we've adjusted all the heights according to the setup. <laughs> Gauge 10 to 46 Dario's on here, standard concert pitch tuning is what it is. Again, as always with a lot of my videos, there's a little bit, because I've basically just finished the setup and a little bit of intonation tweaks. I will readdress this tomorrow morning before it goes back to the customer and do some more intonation checking, let them string sit in 
overnight stretch in but there we go 2004 Les Paul standard Pacific Reef Blue Limited and if you like these videos then give them a like if you don't like the video give the damn video a like anyway sub for more of this give me your thoughts not that I give too much attention to that unless you've got a genuine burning technical question that I will respond to and give you as much information as I can garner on it. The other comments that you might want to say here and there about well mine's this mine that that doesn't interest me whatsoever. But like sub for more of this tasty tasty info and that as we say is easy in it.